cybersecurity. Uh, you remember in the earlier part of the event, we've talked about the challenges to the industry, to new standards, to legislation, and how cybersecurity can become true for the railways. Now, Siemens Mobility is active in cybersecurity for a very long time already. And uh, I want to look at six elements that help us uh, organizing cybersecurity for the rail industry. First element is about people. Awareness, skill sets, capabilities uh, are very important. Also, the tone from the top, from the top management, to say cybersecurity is something we have to be able to do in all of our functions. We have awareness programs that are regularly updated. We do role-specific training for the uh, cybersecurity roles Siemens has defined. And we even offer cybersecurity trainings to our customers or our peers to do cybersecurity well. But all of that is good when the people know uh, how to do it. Still, they need guidelines and processes. So that's the next big element. Uh, Mature cybersecurity processes that are compliant to international standards help us creating repeatable results and always coming to an assurance level, a security uh, level that, that we want to achieve and that we want to hand over to our, our customers. And these international standards are also the ones that uh, legislations are pointing towards because um, the situation is changing and we need to rely on uh, structured approaches. So after people and processes, the third element is products. So uh, there are standard products that we develop securely, but there are also some security products that have a specific meaning to the architecture of a system. For instance, when we decouple networks securely, when we uh, allow for secure connectivity and or even closed networks, uh, these specific products uh, help designers build a uh, system that is uh, adequately secured. For uh, a secure product, a good and important basis is to have the right operating system. This operating system needs to be stable over a long time, it needs to be known, it needs to be assessed by a large group of, of people, and it needs to be patchable. So the Secure Long Life Linux that we promote and have in our products uh, is uh, an example for this structure that we set up. After these three elements, we have a fourth one, that is how do we put all these systems together and build the right level or the right uh, structure of security across an uh, integrated system. Uh, railways are systems of systems and they are pretty complex. And with the complexity, we have a need for security interface management. We need to know what are the domain-specific uh, requirements and the domain-specific countermeasures that we can apply. And all of that needs to come to a, a security-assured system that in the end, as part of our project management, is handed over to the customer. Another element is... Uh, to guide and harness the supply chain. So by supply chain threats have been uh, in the forefront of discussion in cybersecurity, and we know that we have to interact with our suppliers, we have to know what their capability is, and we have to give them clear security requirements um, and check in how far they have achieved these requirements so that the components we build into our systems are of known security quality. Last but not least, it's about the long duration of the life cycle of a system. Railway systems are out there for decades. And the security landscape, the threat landscape, and also the knowledge about vulnerability is evolving over the time. So we need to have measures in place to keep a system secure over decades of uh, the life cycle. That means vulnerability monitoring, that means being able to manage patches and uh, to have a continuous view on the cybersecurity risks.